So this is sketchbook number five, uh, which is slightly misleading. I haven't finished sketchbooks three and four yet. Uh, I'm numbering them in the order that I start them, not the order that I finish them, which is perhaps not the best idea. Um, but yeah, I filled this up just the other day, possibly yesterday. I'm very bad at days. It's summer, so no one really knows what the time is and what the day and stuff. Time is illusion. So this book um, is one that I've worked on since about March and I... the reason I filled it up quicker than the other ones is because I carried it around at school so my friends would do like scribbles so these like the outlines of these my friends would do and then I would fill them in uh, and that was so. I, I would do some pieces at home, but I would also I would do it a lot at school. So I often had quite limited materials, um, and was like just doing it at recess and fun and stuff. Uh, this is a beautiful pineapple, for example, with done with highlighters. Uh, but yeah, I had I had a lot of fun with this sketchbook. This is definitely the one that I think. I'm the most proud of and can see the most can see the most development in and stuff. Um, which I mean I think is good. That's what we're supposed to do. See, right? What am I even saying? This is Frederick and Frodo's wonderful adventure. This is a fish. Several fish. Which is great. Fish are wonderful. I did use some paint in here, some acrylic, and some watercolour, and various things. Um, but I mostly used these pens, these Unibowl, just, um, fine liners. Because I found, I found that they're, they're pretty good, they do the job. Um, this is a dogger. This was done in a very boring maths class, uh, as, as was a lot of this work actually. Um, don't tell my maths teacher, please, and thank you. This is just ballpoint. This is a blob. This is cool. I like this one. A friend drew this bit, and then I sort of expanded on it. Um, this is some sort of volcano type thing. <laughs> uh, this is this is the Emery Harrow situation in my like. I guess workings, just trying to work out some stuff. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, I went down some some rabbit holes that went that didn't really lead anywhere. Uh, but this was this was a fun time. This is frightened rabbit lyrics, and you can see I get into this more kind of loose messy kind of style compared when compared to like some earlier stuff in this book and I think I prefer to just mess around and and be a bit more chaotic like like this um, but these kind of more organized things are also quite cool I don't know I'm I'm figuring out what I like and it's good we don't talk about this one sometimes we do fine. Don't worry about it. I like this one. I like this one too. I didn't at first when I drew it, but I don't know. I like the colours and the lines and, and stuff. This is another one that I did just with highlighter. This is kind of the beginning of um, a different style that I've kind of started that's just it's like different languages and 
it looks like a mad scientist working out some mathematics, but it's not legit maths, because if it was, I, that would be sad. This is the ink turbo. I think there's a... Yeah, these, these are also ink turbo drawings. I didn't finish ink turbo because it was smack bang in the middle of exams. Um, but I did a few, and I think it was a good, good time. This is spray paint, uh, which I discovered bleeds quite a lot, so I wouldn't recommend using this in a sketchbook. But it does, it is kind of cool. I, I, I do definitely want to experiment some more with spray paint. Um, this is inspired by Peter Drawls and Day Fever. So I'm doing his um, abstract comics, and I thought it was pretty cool, and I might try it out a bit. And I think it's a really cool format for doing um, abstract things because it it puts abstraction into like a a well-known like non-abstract format, which I think is interesting. This is just some thumbnails, but here's more of that. Uh, and this is, this was just really fun to do. Some scribbles. This is one that I colored. It did, the next page bled through a bit. Uh, this pen, I'm not sure which one it is, but I didn't use a waterproof pen, but that's okay. But this is more of that, like, this messier style compared to this more, like, refined, uh, thing that I've sort of, I don't know. I've worked on both of these, and I think they work well together, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Some more lines. And now we're getting into some recent stuff. Um, this, I really like this, just the simplicity and it looks good with like the colors and stuff. This also is like, uh, I did like a initial ink drawing and then I painted over it with white paint and then I did another drawing on top of that and just painted over it with black paint and just created this cool texture kind of thing, which I think works pretty well. This is me testing out my new fountain pen, which is here. It is a uh, Monteverde Impressa, and it's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. I do very much like it. It was my first legit fountain pen. I've had some disposable ones before, but I, I think that kind of defeats the purpose of fountain pens. Um, this, one's, this one's pretty cool. Uh, this is pastel, I just wanted to scribble. This is more scribbles. Uh, I don't know if you're sensing a theme. <laughs> and this is the final page. So these are the dates that I started and finished. Uh, and this is a drawing that my friend did back in uh, January, February, March, April, I think. I'm not sure. But that is it. That is my uh, sketchbook number five. And I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it took me a while to fill up, but that's good. Sometimes it does take a while, and that's cool. So thank you very much for watching, uh, and I'll see you soon. I'm going to start making some more videos. I know I've had a lengthy break, but I had exams, and then I had Christmas and stuff, and blah blah blah. I was busy. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, bye.